We got a Mac operating system, old El Capitan up there, and down there is a custom built uh, PC. Uh, so I got myself a Hackintosh. Uh, this was um, a long, arduous uh, task, uh, basically because I had uh, two things in mind. One thing I wanted to build a badass system, which I did. Uh, the other thing too is I wanted to do a video that was uh, easy for everybody to understand. All right, here we go. So the infamous iMessage FaceTime fix. Um, I had everything 100% working, but I could not figure the iMessage FaceTime thing for the life of me. And the thing is with iMessage and FaceTime, they work off the same server. So if all of a sudden you got one working, you should have the other one working. You just sign in or uh, you know uh, click the enable account, uncheck it, and then check it again, and then sign in, and you should be good to go. So, um, so this is the site that helped me. Um, it was actually a, a video and then a site, but uh, this site, uh, which I'll include in the description, uh, where it tells you to add five random letters and numbers to the end uh, to reach a total of 17 carrier, uh, characters, which is going to be for your MLB and your board serial number, which is the same uh, uh, number. So um, just follow along with me. I'm going to include stuff uh, in the attachment so you'll have this link in the description and in the attachment you will have a uh, little executable terminal file called iMessage debug which is going to give you the values that you need besides the five random letters and numbers that you are going to add um, so let's go ahead and get into it first of all I want you to open Clover configurator and I want you to uh, go to mount uh, EFI partition mine's already mounted uh, then you're going to hit open uh, Clover configurator file open uh, you're going to go to EFI, EFI, Clover, config.plist, okay? Once this opens, we are concerned with two things, SMBIOS, which I want you to look at your SMBIOS right now and make sure that serial number, SMUUID, UUID, board serial number are all blank. They need to be blank. Actually, your serial number might be there. It probably will be, but I uh, blanked it out just for this purpose. Either way, you can grab it from that iMessage debug tool. Next is your RT variables. This should all be blank, uh, and then these two should be blank as well. Uh, this doesn't matter. So blank, this should all be blank. If by chance you happen to hit calculate and you populated these areas, what I want you to do is open multi-beast and run multi-beast again, going through uh, what we've talked about earlier and then install, reboot, and then this stuff will be blanked out the way it should be. So, with that said, I want you to double click on the iMessage debug. Um, first thing we'll go to uh, the ROM. So you'll see where it says ROM. I'm already highlighted on it. Uh, go ahead and copy it, paste it in there. Okay, um, your MLB. Okay, so here we go. Um, your MLB, I want you to go to your serial number right now. I want you to copy your serial number and paste it in MLB. Once you've done that, I want you to go ahead and add your five uh, characters or numbers. I have used characters. Um, I haven't used any numbers yet. So whatever the, the characters or numbers will be, so you paste it in there and then you add one, two, three, four, five. There you go. So this would be at the end of your um, serial number uh, which is in here so you get serial number uh, along with this uh, these five characters added onto it then I want you to copy all of this in the MLB so uh, you copy the last five dig uh, digits of characters you added plus your serial number that's in there uh, uh, hit command C to copy go into your SM BIOS uh, clipboard serial number and hit command V as in Victor uh, that will paste in what was in the MLB in there. Though these two things should be one and the same. Uh, your serial number should be there. If not, you can get it from the iMessage debug tool. This is just your serial number, not the five characters. Uh, and then you go back to your iMessage debug tool, go to your hardware UUID, copy all of that, and paste it into SMUUID. Once you've done that, you click File, Save, and then uh, you click file, you click save, and then you click out of here, and then it would tell you, oh, blah, 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 you hit okay. And then, 
All right, I forgot to do this. So after you've um, saved your config list through Clover Configurator, we put in our 17 characters, your UUID, your MLB, your uh, board serial number, all that good stuff. We've done all that. Now we got to go ahead and uh, do these things right here, step 10 through, uh, what, 13 here. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. So what we're going to do is we need to find the, um, the hidden files. So you're going to go ahead and go in here and copy this. You're going to open terminal. You're going to paste that in terminal. You hit enter. And you're going to follow that by kill all finder. Capital F I N D E R. Just like you see down there. Now you can copy and paste kill all finder, but I don't know how to write. So there you go. So you see these things pop up on the right here. These are um, hidden files. You normally wouldn't be able to see that. So Okay, now that we're able to see it, we're going to um, go to username, library, caches, delete all files. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and go to, go. so we're going to go to the username. We're going to go ahead and go to library. Right here, see how it's hidden? I got stuck for a minute, I kind of forgot, but okay, so let's go ahead and, and get back at this. Um, so we're going to go to users, library caches, delete all these files here. So what I found out is I couldn't double click into this, but what you could do is right click and open a new tab. So you're going to be, let's go back, so you're going to be at your username, you're going to right click on library, open a new tab, it's there, so we're going to go to caches, we're going to delete all files with com.apple messages. And then I am foundation. So right here, this needs to go. Okay, so this is the only one here. Okay, now let's go back. Let's go to preferences right here. All right, so all these need to go. So calm to Apple, iChat. Okay. Imagine. Right here. Okay, after you got all these files selected uh, and you read this and all these are good, you're going to go ahead and move them to the trash and get out of there and then you're going to empty the trash. We're going to go ahead and, and hide the hidden files. Okay, we've hid the hidden files, so let's see if we can get rid of these now. Uh, you might need to reboot and then do it, but I'm going to go ahead and use the app. There we go. So that's clean. Once your trash is clean, go ahead and sign into um, iMessage and FaceTime. Once you've rebooted because all of your stuff is right in Clover Configurator, then you should be good to go. Go ahead and open iMessage or FaceTime and sign into it. Um, if you've already tried to mess with it and you have it enabled, you uh, click uh, iMessage or FaceTime, you click this, you go to Preferences, go ahead and go over to Accounts, uh, disable the account. Um, once you've disabled the account, you would close Command-Q, you would reopen it, you would sign in, it would ask you to sign in uh, to iMessage. And then once you've signed in, now that you got all those new cool values in there, it'll work. So it should work. And then you do the same thing for FaceTime. Uh, it will also work. Um, so that is your FaceTime and iMessage fix. Um, if, you, if it doesn't work, um, you could perhaps 
um, try different five characters and numbers. Uh, so keep messing with that because uh, maybe you've chosen something that somebody has or something. I don't know. Um, so that's your FaceTime iMessage uh, fix. This was not easy to research. This was actually pretty tough uh, to figure out research. Everybody was kind of all over the place with this one. So this should work for you. All right. Well, that was my video. I hope you liked it. Um, um, what you could do for me after all this um, is like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, and uh, also in the comments, uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. Tell me uh, if there's a video you would like me to make, um, if there's an app review you would like me to do, and uh, just, just let me know. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, I'm really excited about my Hagintosh. Hopefully you're going to get one soon and be excited about it as well.